Good evening, everyone. Let me start by taking you on a journey to my childhood. Like every Sunday morning, we knew what the plan was. My dad would ring the bell, that means time for prayer, and my mother would start backing orders for us to dress up and get ready for church. On this Sunday, it was different. My mom was not backing orders. She was writhing in pain. Because some hours before then, she had noticed that some fluid was leaking down her ties. My dad, he knew that this was a sign of imminent labor, and it was time to rush her into the car and move her to the hospital. One hospital, and then refer her to another hospital. Four hours later, my sister was born. Her name, Yanolua. In my local language, it means the wonder of God. And if you've been to Africa before, or you know about African names, when we give such profound names, it really has to do with the birth of the child. My mom was one of the lucky ones. She was alive after delivery. But many women who live in Africa are not so lucky. Globally, 300,000 plus women die while trying to give life themselves. And in sub-Saharan Africa, two-thirds of these women live in that part of the continent. For many of these women, they didn't die because they didn't want to receive the care that they needed. Neither did they die because they made it to the facility that was going to provide care for them. They died because they were trying to travel to get to those facilities. Thus far, what we've done is to try to replicate this journey by assuming that women have traveled in straight lines by doing models and all those kind of estimates. However, what my research is trying to do is to replicate the actual travel of women. Because you would agree with me that women would have gone in some convoluted way around mountains, you know, through streams, and in the part of the world I'm talking about, very bad roads. So for the first time, my research is allowing us to replicate the actual travel of women. My belief is that if we're really serious about leaving no one behind by 2030, the first group of people we should not leave behind is to ensure that we do not leave women back at home while they are trying to make it to hospitals in situations of emergency. That's what the focus of my research is. Thank you.